Steam Witch. Alright, so yesterday I played a 35 point King of the Hill game. Um, I was playing Chromac, he was playing Epic Lilith, you might have watched the first game that we played. Um, after that loss, I decided that I needed some redemption, so we set up a King of the Hill, so we have the big uh, center, like, town square King of the Hill thing. Also some forest and elevation. I had the two stalkers, Gorax, Wilder, Chromac, the Stones, uh, Lord of the Feast, minimum blood trackers with Nuala. Um, just kind of like the same old Warpath shenanigans here, trying to get Warpaths off, get the stalkers to a caster or to a Ravagor. Um, he's got his epic Lilith list, that's pretty mean, it's got the two Ravagors, um, the Shepherd, the two Shredders, and he has the Strider squad. Um, we've got the unit attachment and the Deathstalker. So I'm really just worried about him pincushioning me and then just um, shooting me with power 15s. Okay, so here is the overview after both of our turn ones. So pretty much, I went first, ran everything up, um, just kinda, uh, put out Warpath and camped a little bit just because I know he has a lot of assassination threat. Um, I had the Lord of the Feast and the two stones which I was prepared to use and maybe shoot or tie him up again but unfortunately on his turn one he ran up his uh, Dragoon and ran up a Shredder and tied up my blood trackers so he did the same thing I did to him last game in jamming me. So the tricky part now is that um, when I move up now I can't charge him I don't have enough range, even with Warpath. So I'm just gonna have to move up and take a round of shooting, which is really gonna suck, and um, if I lose both my Stalkers, I pretty much lose the game. So I definitely need to keep at least one Stalker alive, and I think if I have that, then I can kill Epic Lilith. Okay, so the theme of my turn two is pretty much moving up enough threats where if he doesn't kill all of them, something's gonna get to him and hopefully do some damage. So I've got Chromac now close enough that he can beast out and charge when she has to come get into the uh, circle. So I ran both my stalkers up. Um, I got this stalker here engaged with this shredder so that he would get um, plus four defense. I teleported my stones up and moved Lord of the Feast up behind them kind of defensively and ran up my stalker so he's in a really good spot. The Gorax moved up in front of Chromac. Blood Trackers had a hard time doing any damage, really. Okay, so Legion turn two. Lilith uh, tries to pincushion my Stalker, and she fails to do that. So then she shoots uh, the Stalker, does like 12 points of damage. And the Striders move up here, do a CRA onto the Stalker, which does some damage. Pretty good. Um, the other Ravagor uh, has to finish off the Stalker, so that kills him. I was really expecting him to feed though, to get double shots on the Ravagors and just blow my army apart. Okay, so my turn three. I decided to go beast form with Chromax. I see that I definitely can assassinate Lilith this turn. Pretty much no doubts about it. Um, so I charge the Gorax up with Primal on him from the Druid Wilder. And with the plus two mat and the plus two strength, he just smashes Lilith's face in. Um, I had Epic Chromac, or not Epic Chromac. <laughs> Uh, just regular Chromac, and he was in beast mode, ready to come up and finish the job if the Gorax couldn't. Um, but, you know, he didn't even need to. But I almost considered not killing Lilith with the Gorax so that I could move up Chromac and do it with Chromac. Just because uh, when you assassinate someone with Chromac, it just feels awesome. It's like, going beast mode is just like one of my favorite things in War Machine and Hordes. And I have Cricks, Retribution, some Mercs, and Circle. Um, Chromax so far is my definite favorite Warlock or Warcaster. Um, I'm gonna be giving Epic Kruger a try next week though, so we'll see. Uh, I'm also gonna give Mosar a try with the uh, Wold Warden and some Gallows Grows. So if you have any tips or anything like that, maybe post them below so that I don't look like a complete idiot in my first game with both of them. And I'll try and do another picture battle report. Thanks for watching.